plein air festival uh, started in 2008 uh, this is this year 2010 is uh, the third one it's the biggest plein air festival in Europe it's a painting festival which takes place out in the open air all the work has to be completed in the open air rain or shine as you see sometimes painting is a very unsociable activity and it's something you do by yourself so it's nice to get together with um, other people um, and you learn lots during the weekend uh, through the demos and just from chatting with people and uh, watching how other people work. I got involved in the festival three years ago when I read about it in a magazine and I applied to be a visiting artist. I've been painting full time for about three years and um, I suppose prior to that I've painted on a part-time basis most of my life, really. Well, I've been involved with the plein air since it started in Wexford, but my enthusiasm started three years ago when I went to List to Varna and I won three prizes. Uh, took a year off work to do a, a course in the vocational college a couple of years ago. This year, I decided to take the time out to spend a couple of days down here. I live in Annapolis, and Annapolis is a sister city of Wexford, and... Yeah. Uh, being the sister city, we had we got word from through the mayor's office that there was an event. I believe it's the only uh, plein air event in uh, Europe. The plein air is taking the paints. Uh, outside, painting on site, in the air. Uh, it comes from the French en plein air, and it means just actually painting on site in the open. It's, it's basically um, trying to capture the scene in front of you in the limited amount of time. It's an opportunity for people who like to paint to get together with other people who like to paint, from very experienced painters to very new beginning painters. Um, so it's a great opportunity to mix and match and learn from other people. That's what I really like about it. I think the best way to describe it would be to say that uh, it's a genuine outdoor painting event. It's painting out of doors, so you don't do, do work in the studio, you do it out of doors um, from real life, really. in Wexford you know it's a low-lying uh, county and because of that we, we get a lot of sunlight. It's a painter's paradise in that respect I think. It has a lot of nice uh, areas, the harbour, the quay I mean I believe you call it, the older uh, cathedrals and churches yeah very nice. I think um, there's a very kind of creative uh, lovely atmosphere about the, the town anyway it just has a lovely friendly feel about it. People stop you Ask, ask you what you're, you're painting, why you're doing it, all that kind of stuff. It just feels very natural and friendly. It's great and it really brings a buzz. It makes people look at their own town in a different light. I mean, what I've been impressed with here is that everybody, whether it rains or whether it's sunny, you know, they're out there doing it and they're coping with the conditions. They're out of their comfort zone, you know, they're, they're away from the warmth of the studio. everybody to to try painting outdoors it's a it's an exciting thing to try and do it's you know there's there's not a lot of material needed um, just yourself and your easel and get out and and just try and capture the scene that you're looking at faith pours from your walls drowning your calls I've tried to hear you're not near Remembering when I saw your face shining my way Pure timing 